Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna be doing my December TBR. Those words just come out of my mouth. I can't believe it's already December. Like this year just flew by so fast. 2020, it's almost over. We almost made it. And in the month of December, I do have some reading plans. And I also have a few different announcements coming out this month about things that are gonna be happening on my channel in 2021. But before we jump into all of those details, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they love. Basically how it works is their team vets hundreds of new release books every month and they pick the top five that they think readers will enjoy the most. And it's awesome because you can spend more time reading and less time looking up all the new releases. Especially helpful during a pandemic because you don't even have to leave your house. You can just get books delivered right to your front door. And book of the month is risk-free, meaning that you can skip any month with no penalty. But I guarantee you're not going to want to skip because every single month there's always one of my most anticipated releases as one of the five selections. And they're always choosing books in some of my favorite genres like mystery thrillers, romances, contemporary fiction, literary fiction, even some young adult every now and then, like there is something for everyone. And this month, Book of the Month is running their best deal. Cause when you use the code BOOKWISH, you're gonna get your first book for only $5. If you've been listening to me talk about Book of the Month all year long and trying to convince you to sign up, now is the time if you haven't done it. Only $5 for a new hardcover release book? That is just such a good deal because typically a hardcover new release book is anywhere from like $26 to $28 and you could literally get it for five dollars. What savings? What? So what are the five selections for December? Let's go through them because I'm very excited about them. The very first book of the month selection for December that I want to tell you about is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And I was so surprised and so happy when I saw this as one of the selections this month because not only has Christina Lauren never been a book of the month selection, at least not to my knowledge, but also because this book came out in October so I was just thinking that it wasn't going to be one, but I'm so excited that it is because this one is Christina Lauren's first holiday kind of romance and it involves a time loop apparently so I'm very excited to read this one I've been waiting to read it for December because it's such a December book and I'm just so happy it's a selection this month <laughs> and then we have The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins and this one is an early release because this one actually doesn't go on sale till January and this one is an adult thriller and I'm very excited because this author has previously only written young adult I'm pretty sure so I'm really excited to see what she does with this adult book the description on here just says a twisty southern gothic about a rich husband his hot young fiance and unanswered questions about his missing wife very very excited to read this one. Oh, so so stoked. And then we have People Like Her, which this one is also an early release and this one doesn't go on sale till January either. And this one is a debut novel. It sounds like it's an adult thriller. It says, warning, this addictive suspense about an influencer and one creepy follower might just make you swear off your phone. I am very excited about this. I love thrillers that kind of revolve around like social media or like influencers. I don't know why. It's very entertaining. And it sounds like this one's gonna have like major stalker vibes, which is also one of my favorite things in thrillers. So very hyped about this one. I love that there's two thriller selections this month. Like, yes, we're killing it. Then we have This Close to Okay. This one is also an early release. So literally you can get all of these books early with book of the month. None of these are coming out until like next year. This one is about a near tragedy that brings two strangers together who just might have the ability to save each other's lives. This one is literary fiction and it sounds so freaking beautiful and I never even heard of this book. Very excited about this one and look at how beautiful, like this cover is stunning, those colors. And then the last selection this month is The Office of Historical Corrections. This one says, sharp, insightful, compulsively readable. This story collection cuts right to the heart of contemporary American life. And this one also sounds really great. This cover, look at these colors. I love, love that. So again, definitely be sure to use the link in my description. Get your first book for only $5. That's amazing. And thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video and for supporting my channel and the booktube community. Now we get into the rest of my TVR. So something I'm planning on finishing first thing in December because I've been listening to this audiobook for like two weeks now is A Promised Land by Barack Obama. And I've been listening to this on audio and I'm like 82% of the way through through it right now but it's such a long audiobook it's like 29 hours long so I didn't realize how long it would take me to get through this but I am loving it so very much and I'm very excited to finish this in December so that will probably be the first book I'm finishing this month 
I also had so much fun doing that romance reading vlog that I did last month that I decided I wanted to start this month with another romance reading vlog. So for that, I'm going to be reading In a Holidays by Christina Lauren because this one just feels like the perfect December book because it is kind of like a Christmas themed romance novel. And I will say, I will admit, I usually don't enjoy Christmas themed romance novels but because it's Christina Lauren I love Christina Lauren they're one of my favorite authors and also the fact that this involves a time loop like it sounds really cool it sounds like it's gonna be kind of like the movie Palm Springs or something I don't know I'm just really excited about this one and I hope that I love it and then for that romance reading vlog that I want to do I actually went to Barnes and Noble yesterday and I picked up some romances that sound really interesting and that got recommended to me a lot the first one was spoiler alert um there were so many people that recommended me this book in that last romance vlog that I did so I just went ahead and bought it because it looks super cute and it sounds really cute and I don't know so I'm planning on reading this one for that vlog as well hopefully I love and then I also bought written in the stars which this one is one that I'm also really excited about because this one's a female female romance and it's an own voices and it takes place in Seattle there's a little space needle right there and so I'm very excited for this just because it takes place in Seattle. Like, that's kind of cool. I live in Washington. And then also while I was at Barnes & Noble yesterday, I bought Hardstopper Volume 2 because I just saw it and I just bought it impulsively. I wasn't really planning on buying this, but I was like, I need it. And so I might end up reading this one as well for that romance novel because it is romance and it's a graphic novel. So it should only take me like 30 minutes to read it. So, and I'm very excited about it because I love Alice Oseman and I really, really loved the first graphic novel in this series so I'm very excited for this second one and then this month I would also like to read this time next year which this one was a book of the month selection last month I'm pretty sure but I would really like to read it this month because I've heard that it has new year's vibes and like december vibes I guess I've been hearing a lot about this book from Noelle who's like one of my favorite booktubers by the way She's been talking about this video in her vlogs recently and she was just really enjoying it and saying it's perfect for like New Year's time. So I don't know, I might try to save this book for like New Year's time, but also like I like to kind of cut off my reading halfway through December and then just like reread at the end of the month. But like we'll see if that actually happens. I might actually just include this in my romance reading vlog that I do because it's a romance book, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, this is one that I'm definitely planning on reading this month. And then I don't have it with me yet, but I ordered online pretty recently the fangirl manga book which is like a graphic novel version of fangirl that just came out pretty recently and it should be here in these next few days so i'm definitely planning on reading this this month because fangirl is one of my all-time favorite things if you didn't know i just love kath with my entire soul so i'm really looking forward to be able to read it in this format like that is so freaking cool and apparently it's going to be like more than one volume so there's going to be more of them in the future. I don't know. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I do really though, I like to cut off my reading like halfway through December because I like to start filming those end of the year videos about halfway through December. So all of these books I'm planning on reading this month, I only really allow myself the first two weeks or so to actually read all the things. So like, I don't know if all my reading plans are gonna happen this month, but I also do have a whole list of books that I would like to reread at the end of the month. So we'll see if I can achieve all of the things. But as far as like videos for this month and any video planning and announcements that I have, I don't think I'm going to be officially participating in Bookmas this year. If you didn't know, Bookmas is this thing that was created by Haley and her channel is Haley in Bookland. And it's basically this idea that you upload a video every single day leading up to Christmas for like 12 days in a row or something like that. And I actually did do that last year. I did a video every day from December 13th all the way through the end of the year. Like it was so much fun, but it was so much work. And I don't think I'm officially gonna be participating in that this year just because December is gonna be kind of a chaotic and busy month for me. My sister's getting surgery pretty early on in December and I don't know, there's just a lot of things in December that's going to be very stressful and probably take my time away from reading and doing videos and stuff. So I don't wanna commit to doing book miss. But with that being said, I do have some very exciting announcements coming up in December for things that are gonna be happening for my channel next year. One of the announcements is probably going to be coming later this week if everything goes to plan. And then the other announcement, I'm not totally sure yet when I'm going to be announcing it, but there are exciting things coming, just know that. Towards the end of December, if I do have the time and the motivation, I would like to be posting like a lot of videos right at the end of December. So you can expect the normal videos from me, like my favorite books of the year, my least favorite books of the year, my most disappointing, my most surprising. I was thinking I would do 
a video that's like tier ranking every single book I read in 2020 instead of doing like my usual wrap up of like laying all the books out and showing you every individual book just because that takes so long and I feel like tier ranking is kind of like the in thing right now and I think it'd be kind of cool to just tier rank every single book that I read this year so let me know your thoughts on that. <laughs> that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully all my December TBR plans can go to plan. <laughs> let me know what are you planning on reading in December. And thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye. What are we fighting for? I